Hi, I'm Keith, and I have to admit, I'm a bit of a hippie. I joined the Royal Free as an admin clerk in 1966 because I was allowed to wear my hair long. And 50 years later, I still have never had a day sick, and I've never managed to leave here. I've done lots of jobs here, but after retraining as a masseur in 1991, I set up a massage service, which is a complimentary therapy. It was an instant success, but when I got to 2,000 massages a year, the hospital and consultants realized how essential their therapy is. That's when I started the complimentary therapy service and team leader for the voluntary massage therapists. What a success it's been. This last year, we delivered 33,000 massages. That's terminally ill and frightened patients given a real respite from the suffering at a time when they really need it and surgeons who have just performed life-saving surgery, the ability to go back and continue their work, saving more lives. When you get a smile from someone really suffering, then that's all the payment I need. But to watch all the volunteers get that same joy they've given, that's special. It might be a complimentary therapy. I did tell you I was a bit of a hippie. Hi, I'm Eva and I'm 89 years old and I've been here for a very long time. I originally first came to the Royal Free when my husband was ill in the early 80s. He had such wonderful care that I decided to give something back. In the 80s, it was the Friends of the Royal Free and I've seen lots of change during the 30 plus years I've been involved. But what hasn't changed are the incredible volunteers. They have made the hospital what it is, a special and diverse place. I think at some point I've had every job, from chairman of the events and fundraising committee to the current librarian. I even did a stint in the X-ray department. Nothing stayed the same and that's what the charity has done, changed, and I've changed with it. I've had an interesting life and the Royal Free has been a massive part of it. I've made so many friends and it's been so rewarding, but don't worry, I'm not going anywhere yet. Hi, I'm Margaret and welcome to my second home, the Royal Free. Having been a patient here myself and my mum passed away at the Royal Free in Feb, this place means a lot to me. That might sound sad, but it's not. I've been a volunteer here since I retired a year ago and I love it. Volunteering is my way of saying thank you to such a great hospital where I and my family have received such wonderful care. I take whatever they throw at me. Everything from manning the shop trolley, helping serve lunches and admin work. It might just be stuffing envelopes, but it's important and keeps me busy and gives me the chance to say thank you and help other people like I was helped. The Royal Free is such a precious place to me, with so many memories and I love giving something back. But actually, I get as much from volunteering as I put in. But don't tell them. Hi, I'm Junko and this is my beautiful dog Susie. Susie didn't have the greatest start in life. But six years ago, we met at Battersea Dogs Home and it was love at first sight. She's got such a lovely temperament that a friend of mine suggested that she would make a great therapy dog. So we found out about the Royal Free and here we are. It really is such a rewarding thing to do. When you walk into a world and you see a patient's eye light up, you realize how easy it is to make a difference to someone's life at the time when they need it. Suji is such a star. The staff and the patients really love her. 
and she loves the, the attention. But I'm the real winner because I get that warm feeling that I made it happen. We are a team, Suzy and I, and we'll keep coming back as long as they will have us. It's not volunteering, it's just a special dog walk. Hi, I'm Desiree and welcome to the Young Volunteers Programme at the Royal Free. I'm the manager and have been since 2015. It's been a huge learning curve with many challenges. With over 100 young volunteers at any time, it's a large proportion of all the volunteers. I think our success here with young volunteers is that it's not based on monetary results, but with a large group of diverse and enthusiastic local young people wanting to gain experience and do good. The volunteer journey here really is incomparable with the many roles these young people fill and help to make the hospital the vibrant place it is. When I see young people arrive who are maybe lacking in experience, but then you watch them grow into confident adults leading patients with humour and humility, that is a special thing to see. And then the more confident young volunteers, humbled by what they have learned from their experience. I really believe in what I do and what my volunteers contribute. I know that when they leave us, they're more rounded individuals who have learned something that you just can't buy, but also enjoyed themselves doing so much good for patients and the people in their local community. Hello, I'm Jill. I'm the volunteer manager at the Royal Free Charity in Hampstead. I started here so many years ago, I'm not going to tell you. When I started, it was the Friends of the Royal Free, and it was a very small charity with only a small amount of committed volunteers. When I think of how the charity has changed in size and scope over the years, I feel such a sense of pride to be part of something that does so much good. Over the years, I must have interviewed and placed thousands of volunteers, and that's what's been so special for me. The diversity of the volunteers has been what made the charity and the job so incredible. Every age and nearly every country has at some time or another walked through that door, all wanting to contribute to this wonderful hospital and the community in which it resides. The end result is that we have helped so many people into work and further education and given many a task later in life. But most of all, they've all helped to keep patients happy and a great hospital running smoothly. I know I've been only a small part of that success, but I'm so proud of all those wonderful people. Now I'm just waiting to volunteer myself. That's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah.